Hey my BGA crew, welcome back to my channel. Mona from What the Muck Think. We are bringing to you guys this amazing collaboration. Like I said, Mona is such a sweetheart. She is so positive and loving and her videos are phenomenal. So after you're done with this video, please head over to her channel to watch the second half to this collab and make sure you guys to subscribe to her channel. She is an amazing woman and her videos are amazing. Her setup, her background displays, I'm like, oh my god. So today we are having a giant meatball spaghetti and shrimp Alfredo. Of course we have the garlic cheese bread or whatever. Garlic. <laughs> I love me some garlic. And then a little salad on the side to be a little bit healthy. So today we are also, while we're eating, going to be doing a assumptions slash questions game. So I'm going to read off a question, give my assumption as to what I think she would answer, and then I'm going to give you guys the answer she actually sent me. So keep in mind, I have not read any of her answers, so my assumptions are gonna be genuine, and yeah, let's see what she came up with. But before we get into all of that, let's start eating because I'm starving. <laughs> So with every spaghetti, I love, 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 love some Poibazat, Poibazat, and some crushed peppers. Yes. Oh, yes, queen. Yes. Okay. So, oh my God, where do I start? I think I'm going to start with the white Alfredo. Well, Alfredo's white, babe. With the Alfredo, let me get a shrimp on there. And then some doodles. Oh my God, you guys. Can you guys see that steam? Oh my God, why, why does the steam never come through on my end? Look at that. Well anyways, this pipe is hot. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> oh my God. Mmm. Mmm. I have been craving this. Mmm. Wow. Okay. This is where the spoon comes in. Oh my god, you guys, look at that. You can kind of see the steam there. <laughs> yes. Wow. Wow. Okay. Then we're gonna move on to that. Mmm. So I don't even know how I'm gonna even begin to get into this meatball. Wow. Maybe like this. <laughs> oh my God. Look at that. Mm. Wow. Wow. Oh my god. I love Alfredo, but man, I'm digging this so much right now. Mm. Mm. Okay. Let's get started. We have 11 questions. So. Oh, so good. All right. First question. You have $100 to burn 
all your friends are busy and you have the whole day to yourself, what do you do? So Mona, I could still picture her like a spa day, getting her nails done. Mm. And maybe having some Mexican food for lunch or something. Let's see what she answered. So Mona answered, something spa-like, what did I say? <laughs> something spa-like, maybe a facial. Can't do too much with the $100 these days. Dang. Oh my God, I knew it. I knew it because she's always with her nails and wow. I know it. So her answers are highlighted in red. I'm totally avoiding the red. How useful would you be in a zombie apocalypse? What skills do you have that would help you and others survive? Well, Mona has always said that she's a very tiny girl, but she's very feisty. So when it comes down to it, I know she will be like a crazy Taekwondo, like, yeah, about to fight you, yeah. <laughs> mm. One of these to the throat. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. She would definitely be a survivor. She says, I'm a mama bear. I would try to figure out a way to keep us guarded and safe. I would, oh, it would have to be brain power. If I had to be out on the front line, then forget it. I've gained about 10 pounds and I'm... <laughs> Not much of a runner. They would surely eat me. <laughs> oh my God. You guys got to go to her page and see what my answers were like. Oh my God. I love her more and more. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Oh. Hmm. Wow. Mm. I'm sorry. But Alfredo and spaghetti are like such a comfort food. Mm. And the garlic bread. Mm. Amazing. Now time for some freshness. This is just a little simple salad. Mm. Okay, moving on. So we were on number two. Number three, what would be the worst ingredients to fill a burrito? Oh, uh, what doesn't she like? <clears throat> I will have to tell her, she doesn't, she wouldn't like I don't know. Uh, liver in, in a burrito. I don't know. Ah! Oh my God, I swear to God. Oh my God, no, 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 you guys. I promise you, I did not look at these answers. Literally, she said oysters or liver. Bah! Oh my God, I swear. I swear, you guys. Oh my God. Mona! Mona! We are on the same page. Oh my God! I swear I did not know. Mm -mm. I did not, oh my gosh. That is crazy. That is crazy. I'm literally, I literally freaked out right now. Like, am I psychic or what? Mm. 
And we put onion in the uh, meatball. I love onion. Mm. Wow. Mm. And the sauces that we use are from Classical. But we zhuzh it up ourselves. Like to the sauce, the sauces my mom adds pepper, garlic, some oregano to the tomato one. And like all the good stuff. And uh, yeah, we definitely try to like season it ourselves. It's all good. You guys, I'm still tripping. I'm so, I cannot believe I, I got liver. Correct. What are the odds? I, I'm honestly, genuinely, I was thinking beans, like whole beans, but that's because I don't really care for beans. But then I was like, well, she likes beans. I seen her eating beans the other day on her Mexican mukbang. So I'm like, what? Okay. Hmm. Number four, if you suddenly found out that your internal mon monologue for the last week was actually audible, how screwed would you be? Knowing Mona, from what, I've, what she's told me, she is very feisty, so I would think she's be, she'd be very screwed. She'd probably end up in like a fist fight or something. <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> I would probably be in big trouble. What comes out of my mouth, this is her answer, by the way. What comes out of my mouth and what skips around in my head are two very different things. <laughs> I tend to talk with my face a lot. You can only imagine what goes on in my head. Number five. Would you enjoy a vacation away from all your technology? I think she would. She loves to spend time with her grandson and her son. So I think, I think she would. Let's see what she answered. I think I would be, it, I think it would be good for about a day. Oh, okay, I was picturing a week. Any more time than that may cause me to go into a full anxiety attack. <laughs> I would probably break out into a cold sweat and start twitching or Man, this ground beef is so good. Or meatball. Oh. That was a big bite. Mm. <laughs> I forgot about your basco. No. Oh my god. I put the best one everything or whatever. Okay, moving on. What three qualities do you seek in a partner? Hmm. From Mona? I would have to say they'd have to be rich. <laughs> I think that would be nice in general, but no, I'm just kidding. Um, loving, loyal, and good looking, I think she would like. Let's see what she answered. Uh, he would need to be established, somewhat good looking, and very understanding because I can be a hot mess sometimes. <laughs> I guess that's why I'm single. <laughs> okay, number seven. What three cosmetic procedures would you have done? Ooh, ooh. We've kind of uh, dabbled in this conversation a little bit, me and her, in the past. So let's see if I remember. I know, I think she said her lips. Mind you, I don't think she needs anything done, but if she would, I think she would probably do her lips and, oh my God, I don't know. I'm totally guessing right now, maybe a breast augmentation, I'm assuming. 
and I don't know what else. Some kind of filler, maybe. She don't need Botox. Her skin is tight for the gods. Uh, she definitely don't need it, but I'm just gonna guess. Botox, lip augmentation, and breast augmentation. I'm assuming. Let's see. She said, I want more than three, <laughs> but the three I will be getting first done is, oh, shoot. She said breast implant removal. She already has them. What? Mona. <laughs> Mona, that is so cool. I never knew that. So breast, breast implant and removal, Botox and lip fillers. Okay, cool. So I was right on two, but dang, girl, you got your boobs done or whatever. Girl, shoot. I did not, I would not have guessed. I mean, because I only see this much of you. So, geez, I, I would not have guessed that, you know, you had them done or whatever. I hope, that, I hope you don't take that as an insult. I just mean like, because we only see this much of you. Um, but anyway, the next one, number eight. If you open a restaurant, what type of restaurant would it be? Oh, what would she open? What do I see her eat a lot? Mmm. Mmm, that's a basco. Mmm. That's a basco makes everything better. Mmm. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Tabasco is a bomb. Is a bomb, bomb, bomb. Damn. That Tabasco so good. Mmm. Um, the type of restaurant, I don't know. I would have to say... I want to say like I was gonna say Asian but I don't really see her eat a lot of Asian food so I would have to say maybe Mexican restaurant or or like a barbecue restaurant. I don't know I don't know I don't know what I would picture her opening Mexican food okay so Mexican food restaurant um, number nine, would you rather take a two week all expenses paid vacation right now or a one month all expense paid vacation in a year in one year from now? I think she would probably take the one, the, the two weeks right now. I'm assuming. I don't know. I'm very, I, I don't know. I, I, I picture her as being kind of impatient a little bit. So let's see. Oh, she said, I would wait a year to take a month, a one month all expense paid vacation. Yes, please. Oh, okay. I don't know why I would picture her like being like impatient, like, no, we need to go now. We're vacation. Heck yes. Okay. So we got two more left and oh my God, this meatball. Usually when things are made oversized, they're not that good, but oh my God, this was good. And of course, you know who helped me with this. <laughs> mm -hmm. The queen herself. Mm. Wow. Okay, moving on. Hamburger or taco? I think she would go with a taco. Yep, taco. Last question. Would you rather find your one true love or a suitcase with $5 million inside? I hope I hope she says the five million, cause I picture her doing that. But let's see. Ah, what did I tell you? <laughs> yes. 
She said, give me the suitcase, exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. She said, Lord, please give me the suitcase with $5 million. I will find my one true love and just buy him. <laughs> yes, yes, queen, yes. Mona, that's what I'm talking about. I can't believe how fun this game was. This was literally, literally, literally a lot of fun. I had a blast doing this. Oh my gosh. Mona, Mona, girl, great minds think alike. That's why we get along. A lot of the answers were correct because we're on the same page. Mm. Well, I think I did a pretty darn good job on this meatball, considering the size. It was. Mm. Wow, this was delicious. Mm. I just want to say thank you so much to Mona from What the Mukbang. Thank you for doing this collab with me. I had an amazing time. This was so much fun. And I feel like I got to know you yet a, a little bit more. And for my BGA crew, please come through with What the Mukbang. I'm going to put her link down below. You guys, please, please head over to her channel. Hit that subscribe button. Make sure you ring that notification bell so you're notified when she uploads new videos. Mona is a complete sweetheart, loving person, and she just she's just amazing overall. Overall. And like I've always said, and I'll continue to say, much love to my BGA crew for all the love and support you guys give me. I'm nothing without you guys. Literally nothing. So you guys make me who I am, and I do this because of you guys. So thank you to my BGA crew. And if you're watching and you're not yet a part of the BGA crew, please consider subscribing. Hit that subscribe button down below and make sure to ring that notification bell so you're notified every time that I upload a new video and every time that I go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, besitos.